What's up, my little tattoo tells you? What is going on with Puffy Young Miami and that girl that Puffy allegedly put the smack smack bang bang on years ago and caused a miscarriage? This girl was on in the audience at the Billboard Awards talking about my baby's daddy, and then Young Miami jumped in to defend this man. Now listen. We got a lot to cover, but y'all, you know, we got the screenshots of the receipts. Let's get into this. Before we do, go on and hit that like button, support, do it for the algorithm. All right, y'all, let's go. All right, Chattel Tells, let's start off with this scene of the crime and all the players. Enter young May Miami. You know her with JT City Girls. Ow, listen, she got the face. She got the body. She got the talent. She know how to twer twerk something. Listen, she has been... Puffy's love de jour, if you will, for the last couple of months. Nobody actually knows how much, how long they've been messing around because, but we do know that they have been messing around because he rented out a private island for her for her birthday. That's right, a whole island, as you see in these Instagram posts, titling it Love Island. Now, interesting enough, even though she got a lot of pics, and you know Puffy, he's known for spending. You know he's hooking her up. She probably got apartments somewhere, bags, purses, whatever you want you got. I mean, for God's sakes, the man rented out a whole island for her birthday. However, interestingly enough, unlike Puffy's other people he dates, he hasn't really been seen with her publicly. Even Bow Wow's baby mom, Joy Chavez, he literally took her, Joy Chavez, he literally took her to Paris Fashion Week and had her all in the cameras. Let's not forget Cassie too. This is young Miami saying them hoes ain't me, right? Now enter in her competition, Miss Gina. She is half Vietnamese and black. I only know that because she posted it on her Instagram stories. Okay. Um, but she is also, if you guys don't recognize her, she literally accused Puffy of assaulting her so bad i think it was a year or two ago that it led to her miscarrying and all this stuff she i think she actually did an interview with tasha k right correct me if i'm wrong but i think this is the same girl that did an interview with tasha k yeah that's what i said what is she doing in this love triangle even fighting over puffy girl i thought you was gonna be behind a restraining order well let's go to the scene of the crime so Gina posted this on her Instagram. She wasn't even sitting next to Puffy. She wasn't even front row. She was somewhere like 40th row in the Grammys, right? And then she posted, dropped this on her Instagram, a Puffy giving her a kiss. Okay, fine. Puffy's still messing around for her. She's still with them. We'll talk about that later. But let's see how young Miami reacted. She literally said, she said, notice me, please, A, B, go sit down. We see you relax. It's okay. You've been around, just around for years. You've been waiting on this moment. If he can't make you famous, B, I ain't. So then Young Miami retweeted, Nikki, she just mad because you took the spot. Word, that B mad because I took the spot. Well, B, if you ain't, mm, then get off the pot. So this is young Miami, I guess, being like, girl, I'm here now. The only thing about this is, and listen, he would come up to be with Carisha. I love city girls. But the only thing is, like, I never, Puffy usually makes, like, all his women be friends. I never knew um, the women to publicly argue. And also, it, why is this girl triggering her so much? Because she just posted a picture. Unless there's something behind the scenes going on. But let's get into this. So Gina responded back on her story, said, ain't nobody, if anybody's attention seeking, B is you. Yo, I'll tell you one thing. Now, this is what happens when there's a billion dollars in the elevator. Everybody's like, you ain't messing up my bag. Let me go secure it. So young Miami jumped in and said, attention, B, I am the attention. Let's be clear. Okay, you know what, good one, Carisha. <laughs> you are the attention. But Gina clapped back. S my D, I don't give a bleep. Girl, this girl's potty mouth, but you know what? Where is this animosity coming from? She then said, why are you so pressed, mama? I thought you was a city girl. Yo, this is when Carisha erupted and literally said, I am, and that's why I F with yo blink, and I ain't coming off them. I don't care how many pics you post. Now, pause. <laughs> This is when I heard Marvin Gaye, what's going on, what's going, literally be like, what is going on? Talking about 
that's why I F with yo, mm, and I ain't coming off of him. I don't care how many pictures. So you're saying that is her man? And if that's her man, then are you? Carisha, Carisha, oh my God, explain what's going on. So then Gina posted a picture of herself talking about some hashtag mine with a love. You know Puffy changed his name to love, hence the name Love Triangle. Now listen, Carisha then said, I ain't arguing with no B that got cheap A lint ball carpet in the house effing on a billionaire. You F freaky A B. Now listen, Carisha. <laughs> I agree, though. How you effing on a billionaire and he ain't upgrade your carpet, at least get you hardwood floors. You hustling backwards. I know that's right. But, Carisha, you just did just kind of admit this This is this girl's man. What is going on? Are you what Puffy or not? And how come he has not publicly claimed you? I know it's none of my business and I need to mind it, but I would like to see them come out as a couple. Now back to Gina and that matter of why you broke up with Puffy, did an interview with Tasha K, said he caused you to miscarry allegedly and all this stuff. Well, listen, it was exposed these DMs that she sent someone. Someone said you look great, but sweetie, was it a lie you told or dot, 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 uh, you're okay with putting up with abuse? Stand up. I look up to you for being brave enough to speak out, but Gina, it's not worth your soul. Remember that. Gina responded back. She said, Hi, babes. Thank you for being concerned about me, but I just want everyone just to know that everything is all right. That stuff was in the past. Him and I both had moved on. I never lied about everything. I forgave him a long time ago. And he treats me, right, like a queen and a princess now. How do you get treated like a queen and a princess? But she said, we did stop speaking to each other at one point for eight months. And then when he came friends again and our friendship is better than ever before. We just really care about each other and want to be in each other's lives. I'm sorry to every woman I let down because a lot of y'all did support me and I do feel bad and I personally don't think it's a big deal if we both change for the better and it's all love but Gina wasn't over I know what y'all thinking Gina sounds lost but she wasn't over she said if he was still mean to me I wouldn't be I wouldn't have allowed us to be friends mean to you being mean to you is telling you to shut up being mean to you is hiding your My Little Pony dolls. Being mean to you is knocking your ice cream over while you're eating it and you really want that ice cream. You said this, you suffered horrific abuse at this man's hands and he caused you to lose a baby and you literally posted a picture and tagged it, my baby daddy. Y'all, what is going on? Was that girl lying? Is she thrown off? But here's the thing, Puffy is still messing with her. Well, Puffy, I'm sorry, well, Buddy Love be messing with someone that lied on him and went on an interview on Tasha K. Y'all, this is all sorts of messy and you know I'm here for it. Listen, go ahead and hit that like, subscribe, follow button, notifications if you really about that life because let me go dig deeper in until somebody tells me to mind my damn business. All right, y'all, I will talk to y'all later. Let me know what you think in the comments. Bye. Mwah.